Hello everybody, this is B-U-Z-Z Buzz here with another Clash Royale replay. As you guys know, I only bring you the best replays on TV Royale, the most popular, the most watched. And this replay has almost 40,000 views, about 38,000 and climbing. So, you know, it's pretty popular, guys. All right, now, our two players are going head-to-head -head right now. We do have a Lava Hound coming down the right side for our red player, but he is actually might do a lot of damage here and destroy this Golem for our blue player, and his name is Over Suzu. Meanwhile, the red player's name is Boreas. Boreas. Boreas' attack was negated. He does have a miner in the back there doing what he can. But this attack here for Oliver Suzu is actually going to put him in the lead here. A clutch fireball coming down from our red player, Boreas, on the defense. Able to really save his life. Otherwise, that tower was toast. It had bats. It had a golem on it. You know, Suzu was feeling pretty, pretty fancy about that. Graveyard in the middle as this game does slow down we currently are waiting oh lava hound on the left side it is replied with a golem so if these guys are texting and sending emojis to each other this is their conversation lava hound golem night witch bats 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 more bats <laughs> that's the conversation they are having in text messages Whatever the heck that means, I don't know. I'm just being nonsensical right now. That fireball did not take out that Night Witch. The Night Witch has bats on the... On the... Oh, okay, actually, not too bad there. I thought the bats were going to do a lot more than they did there. Ex like, I thought they were going to take out this offense coming in here. But unfortunately, it's not going to work out. This bomber will go to his death. These guys are pretty much exchanging giants. Lava Hound for Gollum. The Lava Hound is a little bit cheaper here, so Suzu does have to make it count. This attack here on the left side is gonna take down that tower. Suzu deciding to let it go. He does drop the Mega Minion, but the Mega Minion is a little bit too late, and I don't think it's gonna be enough here to take out this left side attack. This left side attack is doing so much pressure. Boreas, he's in that base. This is a base race, ladies and gentlemen. Over, Suzu has 10 seconds. He's gotta take out that tower. We do have another Lava Hound. Are you kidding me? Boreas has to defend against this Golem, but I don't think it really matters because this attack here, even with that Laser Turkey, aka Infernal Dragon, you know, I don't think it's going to be enough. A lot side Infernal Dragon locks onto the tower. If that Infernal Dragon locks onto the tower, that may be really, really bad here. He needs to stop that Dragon. Actually, you know what? The Dragon doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. <laughs> I thought that... I thought the Infernal Dragon was going to do a lot more damage. We have 1 minute 30 seconds left on that overtime. That tower, the King Tower for our red player is so low. He does shoot a fireball. The Princess Tower is so low. Oh my god, that barrel. Oh my god, the bomber. Shut the bomb. Oh my god, guys. I'm having a heart attack. This is why I don't cast anymore these days. For real. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. My dad is calling me. Which means I gotta go. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to do pop down below. And I will see you in the next replay.